This video is going to be a little different from the regular ones that I make, but it's going to be informative, so keep watching. I'm concerned with this topic just as much most of you watching would be. The city of Hyderabad is facing torrential rainfall from past one week, and this is not something common. You see, the state of Telangana lies... Okay, wait a second. You know, this is also happening in Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra, Goa, Coastal Karnataka, East Uttar Pradesh, Odisha, and Arunachal Pradesh. But I don't know the ground reality in these places, so I would be speaking mostly about Telangana. You see, the state of Telangana is right here in the central region of this narrow landmass of the Indian subcontinent. And if you're familiar with this map in geography, that is the rainfall map of India, Telangana lies in a region which receives very nominal rainfall. It is not as high as some places would receive. Now let's try to understand why is it raining so much. So this time of the year is monsoon time, generally known as the southwest monsoon. There is another known as northeast monsoon, but for this video, we'll only talk about southwest monsoon. So rain occurs when wind blows from areas of high pressure towards areas of low pressure. If this is difficult to understand, just imagine this. Switch on the AC in your room and leave the door open. You will feel all the cool air moves out of the room. I think this is the simplest example of understanding high pressure, low pressure system. So always remember air moves from high to low pressure area. And usually low pressure area is associated with warm temperature and high pressure is associated with cool temperature. So currently there is a low pressure area over northern Telangana, Vidarbha and south Chhattisgarh area. Basically this region over here. And this low pressure zone is attracting cool air from southwestern region of the Indian subcontinent. Air moves in a circular pattern and due to this heavy winds are created. And it is also due to this Telangana is facing heavy torrential rain from past couple of days. Now I'm going to show you some footage that I have. First a little refresher. On September 23rd, Hyderabad and many other districts of Telangana received record breaking rain and it created havoc. Now when I say that I'm not exaggerating. There was an extensive damage of life, property, crops and lot of other things. There was absolutely no civic preparation in advance and I don't blame the government because they are really good at mitigating which is the post damage cleanup job and it is a very important job. I mean right now things are actually getting better. But before I get all nice and good about the government, one more thing that's been happening in Hyderabad is so called the demolition drive. For those of you like me who don't know what demolition drive is, it is deliberately breaking buildings and structures sometimes due to illegal creation and sometimes unnecessary act for a bigger cause. Here the bigger cause is removal of illegal building and structure that resides on nalas, tank beds and low lying areas. For this job, the local civic body that is the GHMC needs 12,000 crore. Wow, that's a really huge amount. Now you must be thinking, why are they breaking things when the rain has not over yet? Well, here's the thing. The Indian Meteorological Department Hyderabad said, according to their forecasting, the city is going to receive more of monsoon rain. Now relying purely on this information, the civic body GHMC is acting swiftly. Now moments like this are rare when you get to see a government body act so quickly. It's good. In fact, it's great. I just don't know whether the moment is right for all of this. Because we are talking about 28,000 illegal encroachments, widening of nalas, land acquisition and compensation, rehabilitation and resettlement, laying of intercepting sewer lines, shifting poles, pipelines, cables and transformers. Lots and lots of work and lots and lots of money. Plus the rain hasn't gone yet. Too many things, too little time. In fact, not really a good time. Think about it.